Hey guys, it's CNPC Sim. And I'm finally back again after six or seven months. <laughs> the reason I've been gone so long is um, when I posted my videos back to six or seven months ago, my clothing tutorials, I was in the last trimester of my pregnancy. And I was a few short weeks away from my due date. So I had to stop and take time off to get everything I needed to get done, done. <laughs> and before I knew it, my baby was here, and it was just really hard to find time for myself to do the videos. And now that um, my baby's older, I have more time to myself, and I finally got to like sit down and do my video. So this is part three of our clothing tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys how to add texture, textures to your clothing. Um, and I'm going to show you how to add an image onto the clothing as well. So the things you're going to need. You're going to need Body Shop, which comes with your Sims game. If you have um, the Ultimate Collection, you've probably tried looking for Body Shop and can't find it. It is there, I assure you. I had to dig through some files, but I found it. And I'll show you guys how to open it if you have the Ultimate Collection and can't find it. Um, I also have Windows 8, so I can't show you how to open Body Shop. Um, but if you go to any of my other old tutorials, when I still had Windows 7, you can see how to open up Body Shop. Or Google search, either way. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a texture, a picture of your clothing texture. I'll show you how to find those. And you're going to need an editing program such as Photoshop, GIMP, something along the lines of that. Um, the only thing you can't use is Microsoft Paint. I use GIMP, um, so if you guys want to follow along with me with the GIMP, I'm including the download link to it in the description box below. And yeah, that's all. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to open your body shop if you have the ultimate collection and you haven't been able to figure out how to open it. Let me get rid of that. What you're going to do is open up your folders and it should take you to your computer file, I think. Yeah, I'm in at least. Um, you're just going to go to local disk. You're going to go to program files x86. And you're going to scroll down to Origin, and you're going to click Origin Games, Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, and you're going to click Fun with Pets, SP9, CS Bin, and there it is. If this is your first time opening the Body Shop, you're going to have to click on Package Installer, and that'll install, I believe, the custom, not the custom content, the clothing and whatnot from your other expansion packs and then you can open up your body shop. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos I've shown you how to open up body shop um, using the home menu. Well I have um, Windows 8 now so I'm unable to show you guys how to do that anymore. So just go to any one of my other tutorial videos and it shows you how to open up the body shop through the um, home menu. So anyways, what I recommend is making a desktop icon so you don't have to go into your folders constantly to open it. It's just my suggestion. So yeah, so there's how to open up Body Shop if you have the Ultimate Collection. Now what we're going to do is open up our Body Shop. Um, if you have a lot of custom content, it will take your Body Shop some time to load. I actually had to open mine up before I started recording because mine takes like five to ten minutes to start up sometimes. So yeah. Now that it's all loaded up, we're going to go to create parts, start new project, and create clothing. From this point you can use whatever um, age you want. I'm just going to stick with the, fe the adult female. So you're just going to go to everyday clothing and into the t-shirts. And we're going to scroll way back to the defaults. Ah, sorry if I'm going too fast. We're just skipping past all of these. If you guys have watched my other tutorials, I'm opening up the basic like gray t-shirt I've used in pretty much almost all of my clothing tutorials. Here, we're getting to it. We're going to use this shirt right here. Just 
this basic gray t-shirt. Once you find it, you're going to click export and you're going to give the t-shirt any name you want. Just calling it t-shirt tutorial and you click accept and it'll export it and once it's done, it'll say your textures were saved to yada yada yada. So now we're going to minimize this. And now what we're going to do is open up our editing program. And again, I highly recommend using GIMP. Um, you can also use Photoshop or any other editing program that gives you, that's like Photoshop basically. The only one you can't use is um, Microsoft Paint. Um, yeah. So anyways, I'm using GIMP. I've always used GIMP for my tutorials. So I'm just going to open this. And again, I've included a download link for GIMP in the description box. And we wait for it to open. That actually opened up really fast. <laughs> So what we're going to do next is open up our, pro our project. And to do that, you're going to go to File, Open. We're going to go to Documents, EA Games, The Sims 2, or The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, and Projects. Mind you, this is your first time using, um, never mind. I was thinking we needed to add a downloads folder. Don't ask me why I thought that. Ignore just what I said. <laughs> we're going to click projects and we're going to open up our shirt. And we're going to open up the first file. It's the matte base texture name.bmp. Open that up. And here we have the image of our shirt. So right now, I want you guys to go find an image you want to use for your t-shirt. I'll show you guys what I did to find one. I just clicked T-shirts design free. And I found a bunch of images. They come from a website called Free Vector. And it's basically free designs for your T-shirts. And some of them I thought were pretty cool. So that's just a um, an idea. And you guys can use any image you find. Um, say any image you want to use, it's fine. And so once you find them, Come back to the tutorial. I found an image I liked. I chose this really cool looking wolf. Werewolf, if you want to be technical. <laughs> Anyways, once you have the image you want, I'm going to show you a really easy way to add the textures if you want to be lazy like me. <laughs> um, the first thing you'll notice is the background to this image is white. And you'll notice the image, like the color of this shirt is gray. What I used to do back in my time before I figured out how to make the color actually look nicer is um, I would just highlight the shirt with my rectangle tool and I would just completely fill the shirt in. I hate when it does this with white. <laughs> and I would do this with all parts of the shirt just so I got a, a pure white t-shirt. So we can go ahead and do that now. And there we have just our pure white shirt. Now you're going to go to File and Save. <clears throat> For some reason, I have the newest version of GIMP. It doesn't allow me to just save. I have to click Overwrite. So I click Overwrite. And we'll go back in and click Refresh. And we'll have our pure white shirt. So now what we're going to do with our image is take our rectangle tool again. And we just select the picture like so. And we're going to copy it. Here we go, and we're going to paste it. And we're going to use it on this side of the shirt because that's the front and that's the back. So we're going to take our resize tool or our scale tool and you just make it to what you think is going to be a good size. And you just take it 
and place it. And this part right now is all about just what I call trial and error. You just put it, refresh it, and see it's almost in a good position. You just want to move it. And you just keep moving it, saving it, and refreshing it until you think it's pretty good. And right now at this point, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to call this good. And you have a werewolf t-shirt or any design t-shirt you want. So now if you don't want to be lazy and you want to do this an easier way, I'll show you how to do that now. I mean, not an easier way. You want to do it in a better way so you can have any color shirt you want. Let me show you how to do that now. Select all parts of the shirt up here. And then what you're going to do is go to colors and colorize. And you just mess with the hue. You can go from left to right and has like all colors until you find something that you like. And then saturation is like how deep the color will be. The light is obviously how light or dark the shirt will be. And I actually like that. So I'm just going to leave it at that pretty much. And you click OK and you have a nice colored shirt. And now for your image, you're not going to highlight this white area around it. Let me zoom in. But rather what you're going to do is take your lasso tool and just lasso around the image as good as you can. Let's zoom in. This will take some time. Okay, so there we have the wolf the wolf is completely outlined. So now we're going to right click and copy. And now you just paste it and we'll go to our select tool, our move tool. And now we go back to our scale tool and just make it whatever size you feel is good. And we just copy and paste. Actually, there we go. And then you go to File and Overwrite. And we refresh. And there we have it. That's a bit stretchy, but since it's a tutorial, I don't really mind. And so there you go. Show you all how to make a shirt with a clothing texture instead of just an image. And so to do that now, we're going to go back to Google Images, and this time we're going to type in clothing texture. And you can get a lot of different types of textures. You can get a plaid one, or a jacket texture, or a leather texture. Um, I went looking through here, and I used, I really liked this, this design right here, this little just knitted plain green pattern. So I'm going to be using that, but you guys can use any design you really like. There are, are so many, though I don't recommend, I recommend using a pattern that's, that has a pattern to it, you know, like this pinstripe or this sweater or something like this, not something like this because it's going to be really hard to put it together and to make it look natural and just like even and put together and nice. So I'll let you guys find your texture and then we'll continue. And I chose this sweater right here because I, I just like the design and since I'm using that knit texture I showed you, I thought it looked good as a nice green sweater. So you can use any clothing you want at this point, I don't mind, but I'm just using one I found in light. 
I'm just calling it a sweater tutorial just because. So now again, we're gonna go back to GIMP and open up our file again. This time, let's go back to projects and sweater. And here we have our outfit. And now I'm going to open up my texture. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a new layer and go onto this one. And you're just gonna highlight this so it's selected. Then we're gonna scale this down like a lot. <laughs> Oh, wait a sec. Okay, let's try ignoring the layer. Control Z. And we'll be on our actual one. And let's try resizing it on the normal layer. There we go. Sorry, don't open a new layer. Just stay on the one that's pasted. And you just scale it down. Because if you leave it too big, it will look really big and bulky on your outfit and that's not what we want. So you just scale it down small and we copy it and we minimize and we go to our project. And here is why I told you guys to keep a pattern that's like, it's like a consistent pattern. So when you go to put it there and control V. Sorry, it's copy and paste because for some reason it didn't stay. You just move it up and when you have a consistent pattern it just goes together seamlessly so you don't have to worry if the pattern um if it's gonna be like messed up looking so see if just paste and you want to cover up all parts of the outfit that show All right, so now that we have the whole outfit covered in our pattern, we're gonna go override it. And now we refresh. And there you can see we have a pretty good looking sweater. Not the color I would have chosen, but. <laughs> and as you can see, there's no like lines or anything where the pattern wasn't like bleh, matched up just all runs together and looks pretty nice if I do say so myself. Now if you're happy with your outfit and you want to add it into your game, this is where you do it. On the enter tooltip here is where you put in um, who it was made by or whatever information you want to add. I always put made by the NPC sim at the NPC creations.webs.com that's my website and stuff so when people highlight over the custom content they can see who made it and whatnot and you just click this and it adds it into your game and so that's basically how you add textures to outfits I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm sorry it was kind of rushed and I was rambling a lot it's obviously been a while since I've done a tutorial so I'm gonna have to keep adding more if I want to get back to being like how I was I guess so anyways part four is going to be coming soon I promise you guys I will not wait six or seven months to add a new tutorial so yeah thank you guys for watching if you liked it please let me know if you have any questions please let me know if you have any tutorial re tutorial requests please let me know Bye guys, see you next time.